He's schizophrenic, according to his mom, off his meds. Spokane law enforcement officers, <laughs> along with Frontier Behavioral Health clinicians, are changing the way our police and sheriff's deputies respond to people in crisis. With everything you got going on, are you having any thoughts of wanting to hurt yourself or hurt anyone else? Jenny Mandon is a member of Spokane's Behavioral Health Unit, a blend of cops and counselors working together to find real solutions to their clients' recurring mental health problems. I think when people can recognize a face when they're in crisis, that's instantly de-escalating. A suicidal female lost her husband a month ago, been drinking and contemplating suicide ever since. One out of every four calls police respond to involves someone suffering from a mental health problem. This joint city-county program allows mental health professionals to deliver care and resources in an environment that's safe for everyone. Just being a mental health clinician, that really allows me to identify what's going on with them and relay that information to any helpful intervention that comes later on down the road. Hey Wayne, my name's Jenny. Have you been sleeping lately? In April of 2020, 70% of this unit's contacts led to resolutions that did not involve clients going to the jail or hospital, and none of those 222 cases involved the use of force beyond handcuffing. When you establish that, um, that rapport with somebody, the next time that they're in crisis, you go back and you say, Sean, it's me. Um, it it de-escalates 100% right there. There's a suicidal male standing on the north side. De-escalation means saving lives and preventing injuries, like the man who called 911 to say he was jumping off the Monroe Street Bridge. The subject did not uh, jump off the bridge. We were able to take him into protective custody, and we are taking him to Deaconess for an evaluation. The Behavioral Health Unit assumes responsibility for checking the man into the hospital. See, I'll do all this, it's just uh, I need to get him inside. Freeing up patrol officers to respond to other calls for service. Robert, right? Yeah. All right, Robert, we'll get you inside here. I'm gonna do out some paperwork, uh, cooperate with them, and they're gonna get you the help you need, all right? While Officer Flynn helps Robert inside, Jenny documents this man's case in the hopes of connecting him to outpatient services in the future. When you look at somebody that's contemplating suicide, that's a permanent solution to this temporary problem. Uh, there were things in his life that he needed to work out and he hadn't worked them out. He was, he was choosing reckless behavior. We'll recommend they call you from a non-restricted number. 30% of the time, a visit from the behavioral health unit results in someone accepting a referral. We really wanna leave it on a positive note. You know, whether they want services or not, we always want them to leave knowing that if they call the police, they're going to get support. Are you okay? Spokane's Behavioral Health Unit is funded by the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs. Is that what you're their groundbreaking grant is an investment in helping people find new avenues to their recovery. No matter what, humans are humans. And, you know, we are here to help humans. And you know, whatever someone's going through, there's always an opportunity to change. And we want to be that changing factor for them. If you or someone you know needs help with mental health solutions, call Spokane's Regional Crisis Line 24 hours a day. Jeff Humphrey, City Cable 5.